my channel today's video is going to be my take on a spring beauty trend which is glowy and radiant skin I feel like this trend or this beauty trend is always trending when it comes to the springtime and it's such a beautiful look and it's so wearable and super easy to achieve so I'm going to share with you guys what I use to achieve this look and some of my tips and tricks and getting that beautiful glowy radiant skin that's absolutely beautiful for the springtime so so the first thing you want to do is prep your skin. This is actually the most important part of this whole entire look. You want to make sure that your skin is prepped and hydrated so that you can have that uber radiance glowy look that you want. So I'm going to start off with my um, toner from Pixi. This is their Glow Tonic Toner. It's known to exfoliate and brighten your skin and it just keeps and actually just gives your skin extra boost of radiance. Ever since I added this to my skincare routine, it's um, really transformed my skin. I find that my skin is much smoother than it was before. So I'm just gonna take this product and put it onto my cotton pad and just wipe this downwards across my face. And it, oh my gosh, this smells so bomb. Oh. Next step is to hydrate your skin. Hydrating your skin is so important for this look. When you moisturize your face, you're going to plump up any of the fine lines that's on your face. It's also going to just enhance the natural radiance of your look. So recently I have picked up this new moisturizer from Sunday Riley. It's their Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. I just picked it up at Sephora. I believe it's a brand new product. And I am so far so in love with this product. This product is um, promises to hydrate your skin as well as provide you a smoother texture and exfoliate your skin. Also, it also helps decrease appearances of hyperpigmentation. So this is kind of like a power moisturizer. So for this type of like ultra radiant glowy look for springtime, this is kind of, this is actually the perfect moisturizer to use. And this just, feels amazing on my skin. Like I feel like my skin is super hydrated when I put this on. It smells like luxury. It smells like I'm going to some expensive spa and getting a bomb ass facial treatment. So I really, really love this moisturizer. I'm just gonna take, I'm just gonna dab this on my skin and just blend it in with my fingers. Notice the difference in how hydrated my face already looks with just one application of that moisturizer. It already looks naturally radiant. I've also picked up this new eye cream from Belief. It's a moisturizing and firming eye cream. I'm just going to dab this along underneath my eyes to help moisturize my under eye area. To this, so after you've hydrated your skin, you just want to allow that moisturizer to just sink into your skin and let your skin engulf the moisture. So the next step is to prime your skin using an illuminating primer. I've been using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone. I find that adding this to my face first just gives my skin an extra boost of radiance. Now I have a pretty smooth texture throughout my whole face so I can get away with just putting this all over my face. I, but if you do have some like texture and unevenness in your skin, I would recommend going in with a different primer first, maybe something to help with the texture, such as the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer or the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I find like silicone type, um, silicone base primers kind of help just fill in those pores and just provide you a smoother and even texture. So, I would do that primer first and then I would go in with a skin perfector or um, with the skin perfector just to add some glow. And if you want, you can just concentrate it in areas where you really want that glow to come through, which is definitely the tops of your cheekbones, on top of right, your um, eyebrows, down the center of your nose, and kind of the center of your face. So if you don't want to put this all over your face, just concentrate it in those areas and I think you, and you will definitely achieve the same effect. So I'm just going to take a generous amount of this and just put it all over my face. I 
don't think I've ever had a cream um, base just give you this like beautiful radiance through your skin and it just blends in. This product just blends in so, so well into your skin. So as you can tell, I just enhanced that dewiness, making it super, super glowy, which is key. For my foundation, I'm gonna go in with my NARS A Sheer Glow Foundation. This gives you a very, um, not very radiant, but it does give you a radiant finish to the skin. It's like your skin, but a little bit glowy. And I am in the um, shade Poondrop, and I'm going to apply this with a stippling brush. It's going to give you a more sheer application to the skin, and that's essentially what I want, is just a very light, application of foundation. I don't want to use a heavy full coverage foundation just because I do want the radiance to just peek through the foundation. And in circular motion, start blending in that foundation. So now I'm going to conceal underneath my eyes. So I'm going to go in, of course, with my Bobbi Brown corrector in the shade Deep Peach. And I'm going to follow that up with my concealer from Becca Cosmetics in the shade Macadamia. I've applied my concealer and what a huge difference concealer makes. I feel like my face just looks already 10 times better because I put some concealer underneath my eyes. I'm going to quickly set the places that I've used concealer, which is right underneath my eyes. I will be using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm only going to powder just that area. I'm not going to powder anything else because like I said, I want that glowy radiance to come through and powdering would just defeat that whole purpose. So you guys can leave your look exactly right here and this is already a very like radiant dewy look. It's perfect for every day, super natural. Just as you can tell as I'm going right here, you can see that the radiance is pretty prominent. But, 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 if you want to be a little more extra, you want a little more glow, don't worry, I got you because I also want a little bit more glow. So I'm gonna go back in with, um, I'm gonna actually use a different cream highlighter on top of the foundation to make this look extra dewy. So this is from ColourPop Cosmetics. It's, it is their Super Shock Cheek Pearlize Highlighter in the shade Wiss, which is a golden champagne -y color. But I've been loving this to put all over my skin and I've been using my Sephora um, Pro Airbrush Concealer and just placing this on the tops of my cheeks, down the center of my nose and up right above my eyebrows and like on my chin and right on top of my cupid's bow. Kind of just like use circular motions and buff it into the skin. This particular shade just gives me a very subtle glow, but it still creates an impact, you know? Like, as you can tell, just that added cream highlighter just adds, just really enhances that glow that I'm going for. So now my face is uber radiant. I personally love this uber radiant look, so I'm okay with this. But like I said, if this is too much for you, you can always tone it down and just skip the cream highlighter altogether. Me, I, because I want to keep things really dewy, I'm for my blush, I will be using a cream blush. This is um, from Stila. It is their convertible color in the shade Lilium, which is a nude pink. I am opting to use a cream blush because a cream blush also gives you more of that dewy finish. So I'm just gonna take a small stippling brush. This one is from e.l.f. and I'm going to just stipple this and add a little bit of pop of color to my cheeks. Be careful with this particular cream blush because it is very pigmented. So you honestly just wanna pick up, pick up the tiniest bit of product onto the brush and then just blend it into your skin. So I'm gonna kinda dab this right on and then blend it together and then blend it. For my bronzer, since I don't have a cream bronzer on me, I don't own a cream bronzer, I will be using the most radiant bronzer that I own that's gonna give me that 
you know, that's going to go with our theme of radiance and glow. I will be using my um, Mary Lubinizer bronzer from The Balm. It's a super glowy bronzer, so it's perfect for this look. So for my bronzer, I will be using this fluffy fan brush from Morphe. I'm going to apply this bronzer the like down my cheeks, along my hairline, and kind of down my jawline. Just wanna add an extra, I wanna add some warmth back to my skin and just um, add some extra radiance and glow. All right guys, so my camera just stopped filming because my memory card was full. So where I left off, I just added some bronzer to my skin and I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera. I'm pretty much completely done with my face. Um, the one thing I am gonna do last you can certainly leave your face like this. You're going to achieve that radiant, healthy, glowy look that's perfect for spring. But if you want some added definition to your cheekbones, you can certainly contour your cheeks a little bit to give you a more defined look. So that's actually what I'm going to do. I will be using my Essence Contour Powder in the shade Medium. I'm going to take the angled portion of my Shade & Light brush from Kat Von D. I just wanna take the smallest amount of this product and just put it right underneath the cheeks here, kinda of just give me some added definition. But I'm only gonna do just a touch. I want a very soft contour. I don't want anything too crazy to take away from our radiant glowy look. You know what I'm saying? So just attach like a tad bit on top of my temples. Just a tad bit, just a tad. Yeah. All right guys, so that concludes my super easy, dewy and radiant skin tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned something on how to achieve a very radiant and dewy skin look, which is, which is a spring beauty trend that I think you should definitely try because it just looks so beautiful. It looks effortlessly beautiful and I feel like this combination of products that I've put on my face really makes the uh, trend very wearable in real life. If you want something for every day, definitely something what I'm wearing on my face works for every day. It's dewy, it's radiant, but it's not like over the top. So hopefully you guys enjoy this tutorial. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy this tutorial. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Hey.